What's up, y'all? We've been winching every single day. Yesterday, we tested out the winch to see if it's possible to do air tricks on it. If you want to check that out, check the previous video. But today, we're going to go winching once again. I'm out here with Graham and Scoach. And uh, yeah, we're going to go to a couple spots and we'll see what we get up to. Slowly but surely, we're going we're gonna to fill this thing up, I think. It's actually kind of filling up. Up a little spot right there. Where'd you get this external water supply? I don't know, it was connected to that building and I redirected it so we could have a little more flow. Look at this, it's like they knew we wanted the winch here. This concrete's really smooth. So we got our homemade dam made. We waxed up this little concrete kicker into the lake sort of thing. We might end up in the grass. I'm not really sure what's gonna happen. Right now we're just waiting for this to kind of finish filling up. And yeah, we're gonna get the boards all ready, set up the winch. And yeah, I mean, hopefully it works out, I think. Got the winch attached to a tree. Got this carabiner here. Scoach is gonna clip it on the corner over there on this little gate. Just gonna run this rope out there through the carabiner and then run the rope all the way down the spot and it should be good. Put that on the little gate. There right, we go. Take that handle back to land. I have no idea how this is gonna go, but that water is definitely too shallow to edge. So it's just gonna be kind of hanging on and seeing where I go, I think. You just gotta point it straight and rip it. Oh, dude, the water came up a lot, I think. I mean, I don't know if that's edgeable, but I mean, I'll just hang on and then let the rope squeeze me up over that into the grass and then maybe in the water. I'm just glad you brought your life vest. Yeah. I'll be honest, I didn't, I didn't really know what to do. Do you think maybe if you go faster? Yeah, we could probably go a little faster. Okay, maybe, I don't know, maybe I could do like a tail scrape on Yeah, I think or... you could do a wheelie. Um, I honestly think you could probably end up going fast enough to just gap it. Gap it and kind of like land But you can kind of land like, I've landed into this edge. I, mean, I absorbed everything and landed like here probably. Yeah, like you you absorbed it all. Okay. But you also weren't going that fast. Yeah, okay, go, go a little faster. All right, so that time we accidentally went 5% slower. So this time we're gonna go 10% slower than the last, or no, this time we're gonna go 10% faster than the last one. So we'll see how she goes. I guess I'm not good at math or something. Here we go. So we'll go 5% faster than that. And then we'll see if we can jump and kind of like scrape the end of the grass into the water. And then we'll go from there. All right, 75. All right, here we go. That was sick, little trainee finder. Yeah, all right, we'll do the same thing, but back one and then kind of scrape the end of the grass Ooh, right there. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. Oh! <laughs> all right, just kind of fell over on my toes a little bit, almost kind of scraped my face on the grass, but we'll try it again. I think we should land this one. Here we go. All right, we got that one. Maybe I'll just do like a little wheelie scraper on here and then ride down the grass. And then one of you boys are up. All right. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you guys do that because I will be uploading a wakeboarding video every second day forever. Also, make sure you guys check out both Graham and Scoach's YouTube channels. They have Instagrams as well. I'll leave the link to everything in the description below. All right, I just finished up there with that wheelie. I think Graham's gonna go, and then Scoach is up after that. Um, but yeah, maybe if uh, they each get their tricks, I'll go again, not really sure. Try not to get kicked out of this place just because, you know, we're at an apartment complex, so I can't imagine this lasting forever. You gonna stunt it or what? Probably not. <laughs> I don't really know what there is to do here, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go.
Wow, that was kind of sick. What do you think? I think uh, I got some grass on the board, so that's a good sign. I'll try to press it down a little bit harder, get her, get her cranked out. Get her up there? The clip came out sick, but I think you maybe went like a little bit big. Maybe you could like absorb a little and then you'll be able to drag that nose longer. Yeah, I was like reaching down out of the sky to try to drag my nose. I need to go lower for sure. All right. Ah. <laughs> We're this close. <laughs> Yeah, that was sick. All right, try a little back three nose scraper. All right, you yeah, got she it. Does. Don't miss the handle. <laughs> Sorry. I think, I think it's slick enough. But yeah, yeah, I think I think it's definitely slippery enough. All right, you ready? Okay, here we go. Ah, a little back three. Not quite the nose scraper, but still back three. I mean, I can't imagine it being the easiest to handle pass off concrete, but that was pretty cool. Yeah, how about uh? back 450 the front board in the grass okay oh that's got to be scary dude why don't we go like uh 85 and i'm just gonna air it and see if maybe i could flip it all right cool i'll bump it up what do you think uh front flip or back flip i personally would try a tantrum but i flip way faster when i do a back flip than a front flip so that's really up to you i think i've uh, gotten more comfy with front flips so i feel like that's what I'll kind of maybe try to eye up is like a front roll into the grass. Oh yeah, something. I mean, if, if you're directing that way, maybe the safer bet is the front roll because then you would just slide on your butt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. I went 75, this one's 85. Okay. Okay, here you go. <laughs> that was really fast. Just in case some of y'all complain about your cable park, which I'm not going to say I haven't done that in the past, this is definitely probably worse than any cable park I've ever been to. Definitely not the greatest spot ever, but it just shows that you can have fun wakeboarding anywhere, even if it's just a puddle like this. I mean, I think you definitely have enough time to flip, and even if you don't have enough time, you're for sure gonna make it to the water. Fair enough. Was that too fast, or you want that speed? I love speed. Yeah, I think speed is good. <laughs> you forgot the part where you were supposed to flip. <laughs> that's not really the one you can just try without any consequences because like you can't edge and then you're on this flat and it's a weird pop so i think i'm gonna leave it with just the air into the water and pass the torch scotch you're up okay. yeah if you guys don't know scotch he's the man oh yeah the man scotch is ready to rip oh yeah oh my gosh bro what is up with your boots dude so it looks like scotch is running a hyperlight system on that boot while also running a Connolly boot on this side. And he's putting the top part of a Connolly boot that actually ripped off the base plate inside of the binding so he can actually keep riding. That's uh, that's pretty sketchy, wouldn't you say? Eh, cheap. <laughs> <laughs> if any of you guys feel like getting scotch on the water with some better bindings, make sure you guys message him on Instagram. I'll leave the link to his Instagram in the description below. What are you going to try? Just uh, ride out of it first? Go right out of it first. And see how she goes? Yeah, we'll see how she goes. All right, sick. You ready? A little too slow or? Uh, a little more speed. We're gonna give her some more speed and see if we can get a little more air there. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, you good? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Yeah, too much toes. <laughs> you got this. Just get a big one and land right, right on into the little lander there. All right. right, will do. What happened there? I thought last time I went a little too hard heels on the landing. So I was focusing on landing toes. So I went too hard on toes. So we're just going to do a happy medium and we're going to land it just right. All right. Do it. Oh, close, close. Ah, there we go. There you go, that one's clean, what do you think? I think so. I'm gonna try me a three. Probably gonna eat shit, but the way she goes sometimes. <laughs> All right, I'll film you. All right, here we go. Make sure you go big, dude. Oh, what? No way. What? Yeah. 
Yes, coach, let's go! Do you think I should do a three or a five? I think uh, the five might be easier, but it might be hard to get the handle pass. The three, you don't have the handle pass. But if you do do a three, just try and get more of your toes, and I think like you'll probably get it. Yep. Yeah! <laughs> Scoot, so close. Oh, that was actually insanely sick, even though that was on accident. That's gonna be it for today. If you guys don't follow Graham's channel already, make sure you guys do that. I'll leave it in the description below. If you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment below what kind of videos you guys wanna see in the future. And remember, I'll be uploading a wakeboarding video every second day forever. So make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.